Hello, lesson today is lesson 5-7 and it's called solving two question problems. It was a tough lesson for a lot of students today so I appreciate them looking at the video again to get it a second time. <clears throat> you know how to solve many different types of word problems. Today you will learn how to use the answer from one problem to solve another problem. Our learning target, I can use the answer from one problem to solve another problem. When in your life do you do something that needs two or more steps? Tying your shoes and making a peanut butter and jelly sandwich are both things that need two or more steps. Students also thought about building a house or making something complicated would need two or more steps. Here's a problem we did as a class. Paul bought two red notebooks, three green notebooks, and three blue notebooks. First, how many notebooks did he buy in all? And second, if each notebook cost $5, what was the total cost? To solve the first problem, you need to add 2 plus 3 plus 3. That equals 8. And to solve the second problem, you need to multiply 8 times 5. 8 times 5 equals 40. So the second part of the answer is $40. How did solving the first problem help you solve the second one? Students said they didn't know what to multiply 5 by until they added 2 plus 3 plus 3. Is there any way to answer the second question without answering the first question? Some students thought they could do 5 times 2 and add the product they got to 3 times 5. And they could also do 3 times 5 again and add all those products up, but It'd probably be simpler to just do 2 plus 3 plus 3 and then get 8 and do 8 times 5. <clears throat> a movie ticket for an adult costs $9. How much do three adult tickets cost? Students knew this was a multiplication problem 3 times 9 and they knew the answer was 27. Part B of the same question says Mr. Jones paid for three adult tickets with $40. How much change will he get? So on the part part whole map at the bottom there, they've changed this to say 40 because 40 is the total amount he gave them to pay. 27 is how much it cost. So to solve this, we do 40 minus 27, and the answer goes here. 9 times 3 is 27. 40 minus 27 is 13. Question says, Jared bought a baseball cap for $12 and a t-shirt for $19. How much did the items cost altogether? So the part part whole map shows that $12 that he paid for the cap, the $19 he paid for the shirt. Add them together and it equals 31. So we know how much the items cost, it was 31. Part B, suppose Jared paid with a $50 bill how much change should he get? $50 is the whole. That's the whole amount he paid. 30 do 31 is how much it costs. 50 minus 31 give you your answer. So um, 50 minus 31 is 19. He gets $19 change. Okay, these were problems we did as a, a, a class. So pause the video right now and see if you can solve these problems on your own, and then I'll show you the answers in the next slide. Okay, for first question, she bought a poster and a shirt. How much did her gifts cost? Well, the poster cost $9, the shirt cost $20, so it would be 29 Car gave the clerk $30. How much change should she get? $30 minus 29 is 1. Look at question 7. Dan bought 3 cups. How much did he spend on cups? Well, I see the cup cost $2. So I know to solve that I need to do 3 times 2. 3 times 2 is 6. So Dan spent $6 on cups. Part B says Dan also bought a CD. How much did he spend in all? Well, I'm remembering that he spent $6 on cups, and I'm seeing the CD costs $15. 6 plus 15 is 21. Dan spent $21 in all. Last question, 8. Terry bought the most expensive and the least expensive gift. How much did she spend? 
most expensive gift would be the shirt, which cost $20. Least expensive gift would be the cup, which cost $2. 20 plus 2 is 22. So the answer to 8A is 22. Terry's sister bought a CD. How much did the two girls spend in all? So 22 that Terry spent. CD is 50.